Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys, would one of you guys mind talking just so I can make sure I can hear? Hey, Harry. Yeah. Yep. Perfect.
All right, everybody, we'll open it up for uh, questions for Coach. Coach, obviously the stat that stands out, at least in the box score, is more turnovers than made field goals. I don't know if disappointing is the right word, but maybe what is the most disappointing thing when you think about the offensive performance today? Well, obviously the turnovers, and, it, and particularly because there were so many that were unforced. Um, you know, it's one thing if, um, and, and I'm not taking anything away from Oklahoma State because I do think that they definitely caused them, but there were several that we caused ourselves because we weren't, um, you know, um, under control or we weren't really confident in what we were doing. We weren't um, taking care of the basketball and really working hard um, to make the right pass or to get the get the ball where it needed to go. And so therefore we gave them a lot of oppor extra opportunities. So yeah, I mean, the, the turnovers were huge tonight and the, and the lack of getting to the free throw line. I mean, those two things are, are really difficult to win basketball games on the road. If you're turning the ball over and you can't get to the free throw line. A couple of days ago, if we tell you that you hold Natasha Mack five for 17, do you think this game, any way that this game isn't at least a close ball game? Yeah, you would hope that it would have to be at least close if we do, because I do think that we did a nice job on her. I think that we stuck, I did think we stuck to our game plan on that for the most part. We did a nice job of, of trying to limit her touches. Um, but then obviously we let um, Jamie Asbury have, have a career night. I don't know about a career night, but a, a huge night, a very special night. And, uh, and she just made us pay from the opening tip. When your two main offensive cogs, at least scoring wise, go what nine for 38 is the do you, do you almost have to see if they can shoot out of it or or what's that strategy when you can tell they're kind of off yeah I don't think it was necessarily that they were um you know off necessarily I don't think we were getting them good shots um you know I think we need to work harder to get them good shots so that they don't have to shoot over double teams or shoot in traffic or things like that I think that we've got to um have more poise about us in the opening quarter um, or even the opening half and set the tone a little bit better with our offense and and really work hard um, to get good shots for them and for each other. Um, and I think that will allow them to to go to work a little bit more. I thought that we started panicking um, as the ball wasn't going in the basket force or it wasn't easy. And, and therefore, um, they were having to take some difficult shots. Is there an element to, to kind of struggling on the road that comes from not having done it a lot this year, or is that just something that maybe I read it too much into? Well, I do think that winning in the on the Big 12 on the road is very, very difficult. Um, I mean, you know, of course we haven't done that, but um, we haven't had an opportunity to travel a lot. But I think it's just um, one of those things where every night's going to be a grind. But on uh, when you play on the road in the Big 12, it, it's it's probably a 10 point difference, you know, to, that you're going to have to battle through. Anything else? Yeah, Coach, I was curious just to circle back on a couple things you talked about hanging into this matchup with one of them. I know you already kind of answered it there, but other people stepping up around Vivian and Lexi in this one. You you mentioned how, you know, one way just not getting the poise, but what were the other ways you didn't see that step up when they're not shooting well? What are some of the areas that you didn't see where you were hoping in this game you would see that progress with the rest of the group stepping up if this was a scenario? Yeah, well, I mean, you've still got to have some other kids, you know, um, knock down some shots. You've got to have some kids execute, uh, whether it's getting us in the offense, whether it's screening, setting the right screen, execute, you know, doing their part offensively um, and just sticking to our game plan. There were a lot of offensive and defensive breakdowns um, that were just a lack of focus, I think, and, and really um, concentrating on what we were trying to do um, both on both ends of the floor. Anything else? Can, can you take away from this one as far as something good that I know you can't, you know, the game is what it is, but when you have someone like Jamie as well as she shot, if you take her away, the rest of the team shoots around 30%. Did you see the team defense aside from her? Were you happy with the rest of it? Well, I like the way that we um, attacked Natasha Mack. I thought we did a pretty good job with that. I thought that Kyla Wade Warren came in and kind of grew up a little bit. Um, she battled. She she stuck to what we wanted to do. She was physical. Um, so I was glad to see that. Um, and, and I just thought I really did think that our overall um, thought process and like strategy to, to defend them was the right one. I just think that we did not do a great job on, on obviously on Jamie um, and particularly just from the get go. You know, we we let her have way too many looks on the perimeter and we know she can shoot it it was not by design to let her have um, open looks from the three-point line final one from me as far as 
um, the you know rebounding battle was right there dead even in this game. Can that be a building block as far as just getting those second chance opportunities, even if they're not falling in this one? Just is that a building block that you can see like, hey, guys, look, we're getting these chances. Once the shots start falling, they can really swing a game, and it's closer than it really looks on the scoreboard. Well, for sure. And I think also, I mean, I'm really proud of that, that the fact that we did rebound the basketball pretty well with them, especially. Um, but I think that's part of like understanding, kind of understanding the offensive part of that. Like you go get an offensive rebound and, and you are surrounded by, you know, six, two, six, three, and, and particularly one of the best shot blockers in the nation and Natasha Mack, you got to be smart about going back up and shooting it. You know, you've got to save that possession and maybe get a kick out for an open three um, and, and, or even just another possession instead of, we had a couple where we tried to go back up amongst the trees and, and got them batted back in our face. And, and those are just, that's just kids trying hard. Those are kids that are really wanting to make, they went and got a hustle play by offensive rebound and they're wanting to make a big play, but we've got to be smart right there in those situations. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank you guys. Thanks coach. <laughs> no problem. We appreciate you. See you guys.